Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this double auger mortar mixer I picked up from Northern Tool. This is item number 999011. Uh, these retail for $149.98 on their website. They did not have them in store so I had to order it online. But I was able to apply a $20 off coupon code for anything over $100. And that pretty much took care of most of my tax and shipping on it. So my outlay on this in total was 153.62. Now this is a double auger as opposed to just a single. Uh, if anybody's ever mixed anything in a bucket with a paddle or something like that with maybe a an angle drill, you really have to fight the rotational forces. And they sell single auger units, but this one was only twenty dollars more to get the dual. Now with the dual there are two augers on it and these shafts counter rotate so they cancel each other out so as far as mixing a mortar or a grout or something along those lines in a bucket you simply just need to guide the tool and you shouldn't have to fight it. Now it did come with a manual of course. It came with an extra set of motor brushes always nice and it did come with two stamped wrenches and these are different sizes uh, they fit a little bit loose to the fasteners but you know what they work came with those here's a shot of one of the augers now there's a flat on here and it lines up with a flat right here when you install it and they are left and right and it's marked here on the casting this is the left side this is the right side the left hand side actually has left handed threads on it and the right hand side has standard right handed threads so that's something to keep in mind uh, the packaging on it in the box was not all that great there wasn't much in there to protect the tool and I did get a ding right here on this one to where I could not get this auger in here so I did have to touch it up with a file and kind of polish that back off no big deal it goes in there now they are snug getting them in but you want them snug I put a light drop of oil on them and that will keep them lubricated well enough to where I can get them in and out without a lot of hassle but the auger itself has two speeds there's the selector gearbox right here I have it on the first speed they claim it does on the low range 0 to 450 RPMs and on the high range 0 to 800 RPMs. And right here is a dial where you can turn the speed up and down. The trigger is right here on this side and there is a button that you need to push a safety to get it to turn on. So I'll go ahead and just turn it on as I'm sitting here and I'll run through the speeds both low and high. So that's low. Then I'll switch it into the high gear and I'll do the same thing. Seems like it has tons of power. I was reading some reviews online about it and some people were complaining that when they use these augers they were shearing parts of their buckets off and putting it in their drywall motor whatever they were mixing and they said that there was a sharp edge on here and there is there's a a flash hanging off the edge on these auger blades so I will be knocking these off and dressing them with a file to smoothen that up so that should take care of that issue alright right, we'll have the blades installed now I'm just going to turn it on let you see how they twist So you can see how they kind of intertwine with each other. It's basically just a, a hand mixer on steroids. It does wobble a little bit when I put them on there because these shafts evidently have just a tiny bit of run out in them and I can feel the vibration up top but no big deal for what it's going to be doing.
All right, well, I wanted to show you a before and after. This is the before on one of the blades. Hopefully you can see the light dancing off here. That's the burr all along the edges. That's what scraping parts of buckets off and things of that nature into the mix. Also this edge here when they were stamped. This is just the nature of how stampings go. You can see how rough this is as well. This is what I'm taking off and smoothing up. I was just going to knock the burr off, but I decided to go ahead and address this surface as well. So this is one I have not touched yet. Obviously in what I'm doing, I'm taking the plating off, so they're going to be more prone to rusting. But that's okay, I'll deal with that. I'd much rather deal with that than having uh, pieces of plastic in my mixes. And I intend to use this from now on in uh, mixing up my drywall mud as well. That's why I'm going this direction. So here's a, a shot of one that I've finished. You can see how much smoother it is. I didn't go too crazy on it. I just got relatively smooth and knocked all the burrs off. So this is actually really, really nice right now. And it should not take any material off the bucket and put it into the mix. All right, well, I just kind of wanted to explain how I was addressing this. Just to knock the burr off when I started that direction, I was just using a mill file and just going in here and taking it off. Uh, then I decided to address this edge here as well and figured I'd speed it up. Instead of using the mill file and doing it manually, I broke out my rotary tool, uh, meaning a Dremel. That's what they're commonly called. Mine is just not a Dremel brand, it's a Ryobi. So the first thing I did was come in with a drum sander and just hit this edge just like this and just kind of knock the majority of that down and then I was just slightly rolling this over to make a small crown here not too much just a little so that's how I'm attacking it and then once I was satisfied with that I simply just came in with a little bit of 400 wet and dry sandpaper and just smooth things off that's all I did it probably took me about five minutes to do the first blade Just coming in like that and then just taking the burr off. Just like that, the burr is gone. And just rounding this over, creating a small crown. And that's basically all I'm doing. Quick and easy. All right, well, I'm going to test things out here. I've got about a third of a bucket full. I don't need much for what I'm doing here. So here we go. I'm a little bit wet. I'm going to add a little more.
Wow, that thing works great. Very easy to control. Bucket's not trying to walk around on me. Seems like it's got plenty of power. That was about halfway up on the low range. All in all, it works great. All right, well, I wanted to show you how well this stuff got mixed up in that short amount of time. It is nice and creamy. It got every bit of the powder on the edge of the bucket, the bottom. There's nothing that didn't get mixed in. Now, this isn't a full, full bag, but I imagine it might be a little bit more effort to do an entire bag, but that's some good looking mortar if you ask me. I need to let this sit about five minutes and then I can start using it. Well, Alright guys, my final thoughts on this product is it works great. At this stage I'm completely satisfied with it. It mixed it perfectly. There was no unmixed material in the bucket in any manner. I did end up having to mix up two more batches because I misjudged how much I actually needed for my task at hand. And it worked great every time. There was nothing else to do. Uh, it's effortless to do it. You don't have to fight the tool. The tool does the work. It's just a matter of hanging on to it and guiding it. That simple. So if you guys are looking for something to mix up mortars, grouts, uh, stuccos, things of that nature, I would highly recommend looking into one of these. It works great. Thanks for watching guys and good luck.